The business end of the season kicks off and the finals are here. Fresh from their Premiership win last weekend, Sydney United 58 earned the weekend off as the Sutherland Sharks take on Bonnie Rig at Seymour Shaw in the qualifying final. And after just sneaking in by the skin of their teeth, the Rockdale City Suns and Marconi fight for their lives in the elimination final at the Sydney United Sports Centre. That's all exclusive on Football New South Wales TV. This is the IGA National Premier League New South Wales Men's One. Sutherland host Bonnie Rig with a winner taking on Sydney United 58 in the second semi-final, whilst the losers' championship dreams go on the line. But before we go to Seymour Shaw and check out all the action, let's retrace the two sides' path to the finals. Bonnie Rig were the team to beat in the early stages, but Bomber Brown's men hit a hurdle or two in the second half of the season. The Premiership was theirs to win on the final day, but defeat to Marconi courtesy of an injury time goal saw them drop to third. Despite falling to Marconi last weekend, wins over Sydney Olympic, the South Coast Bulls and the Premier's Sydney United 58 in recent weeks show they will be tough to beat. Meanwhile, the Sutherland Sharks come into this one in a bit of mixed form. The Sharks let their hands slip off the Premiership on the final day and have won only one of their last five games. Falling to three of their fellow finalists, the Rockdale City Suns, Marconi and Sydney United 58. Can the Sharks turn their fortunes around at home? Let's go to Seymour Shaw for all the action. Here's Chun now. Running at defenders, links back up with Tadros. Here is Chanak. Wondering how started at a brisk pace. Here's Chanak again. Intercepted, no. Lovely ball, here's Chanak. What can he do from here? Here's Eunice, it's 1-0! Perfect shot for Bonnie Rig. It's taken them all of four minutes. And they lead the Sharks 1-0. Uccino does well, rides the challenge. Well done from Chanak. Stands up a couple of defenders. And well, ball watching in the box there from Littler. And they pay the price, the Sharks. What a start for Bonnie Rig. Haven't they started on fire tonight, Bonnie Rig? They go long. Here is the goal scorer, Eunice. Can he get a second? He goes down. Oh, it's a penalty. Would you believe it? It's a horror start for Sutherland. As we look at the replay, he does well. It's Perry Moustakis who brings him down. And there is contact, and that's a penalty. Well, Robbie Eunice v Denham. He's already got one tonight. Eunice has his second. And what about this start for Bonnie Rig? Nine minutes gone. It's 2-0. And they are on the ropes inside the opening 10 minutes, Sutherland. Well done there from Long. Links up well. Here's Eunice. Could he get a third goal here early in the first half? Oh, shot from distance. Isn't a bad one? Just over the bar. For a second, I thought it found the top corner. Adrian Uccino from distance. Well, wouldn't that have made things interesting for Sutherland? Look at that. Dipping late. Oh, Denham was stretching. Wasn't too far away. Denham goes short. Oh, under pressure. Surely could have been a free kick. Here's Eunice. Could he get a third? He does. Would you believe it? It's a hat-trick for Robbie Eunice. Inside 25 minutes. It's an unbelievable start. Eunice buries it. And it's got to be one of the quickest hat-tricks. It was Sturgeon, the man. He bumped off the ball. Referee says it's a 50-50 challenge. Both went to the deck. Eunice was first to get up. Rounds the defender. Littler again. And finds the top corner. Denham can't do anything with that. And wow. And that could be the knockout blow for Sutherland. And I tell you what, it's going to take some coming back from this. Oh, he could be in trouble here. It's a red card for Nick Stavrilakis. Well, it just gets worse. The captain is off. As we look at the replay, yeah. And we can see why. It starts with showing. And the referee had no hesitation in producing the red card. And the horror night continues for Sutherland. I don't see how the night can get any worse for them. Here's McMaster. He goes down. He'll get a free kick. Maybe Nick has to take. He whips it in. Not a bad looking ball. Bobbing around though. Morinaga with the head up. Can't direct it on target. Long now. Rides the challenge well of Nick has. He sends it wide. Here is Diaz. Bobbing around Chanak. Here is Chud on the turn. Oh, had some venom behind that one. Haven't we seen him score from distance this season? 
And the pressure continues to mount on Sutherland. Nikas now looks up. Oh, that's a lovely roar from Alassie. He sprung the offside trap. Round the keeper he goes. Should put it away. And he does. Sutherland have some life on 58 minutes. Nathan Alassie pulls a goal back. He showed great calmness there. Alassie rounding the keeper. Stood up his defender and found the bottom corner. And Sutherland have a goal. And could they be mounting some momentum? Lovely ball from Nikas. Alassie timed his run to perfection. Brought Nash off his line. Did have Hughes in support. Could have threaded the ball through to him. Decided to go on his own. And calm finish there from Alassie. So played out from the back. Here is Hughes. Been good tonight, the youngster. And as I say, he turns it over. Here is Fondyke. Here's Tadros now. He whips it in. Dangerous area. Oh, allowed to turn is Robbie Eunice. Don't tell me he'll get a fourth. He won't. But Fondyke will on the rebound. And just as Sutherland thought they had a sniff, it's been pulled away from them. It's 4-1. And surely that is the victory secured. Eunice allowed to turn once more in the box. Dinner makes a good save, but Fondyke on the rebound. He won't miss from there. And 4-1, Bonnie Rigg. Lassie trying to be a little bit too cute now. He's turned it over. Pacino links up. Fondike. Thought he was going to pull the trigger for a second. Switches things. Here's Crichton on the far post. What can he do from here? Oh, well, gets around Morinaga. Crichton! It's five! It's the perfect night for Body Rig. If there was any doubt over their championship credentials. Will have sent a message loud and clear tonight. Five goals. A comprehensive win it will be. The question is, by how much? Sutherland looking for a consolation. Here's Mikas running at defenders. Oh, lovely ball. Here's Hughes. Round the keeper. Can he get a consolation? He can. Well, caps off a pretty good night for the youngster. In stoppage time. It's been a horror night. And they've been forced to blood some of these youngsters. Hughes can hold his head up high. And he'll do so with a goal next to his name. Once again, Nikas, lovely ball. Great run from Hughes. And for a youngster, takes the touch, settles himself, finishes well. But it's a rare highlight for Sutherland. Well-worked goal. It's his first in the top grade. Well, that's full time here at Seymour Shore. And would you believe it? A week ago, they were sitting on top of the table. And now the Sharks are just 90 minutes away from having their season finish. Bonnie Rig with an emphatic win. Don't write off their chances just yet. Penny, a difficult evening for you guys tonight. Yeah, it was a tough game. Um, they really came to play. We didn't show up to the best of our potential, but that's how it goes. Um, I think we can take a lot of positives from the second half with 10 men. They scored two, we scored two, so it evens, evens itself out. So we'll, we'll build on that, not looking at the negatives, we'll just look at the positives of that. Bonnie Rigg waiting was coach Brian Brown. Uh, Brian, fantastic result tonight. Uh, oh. Dominant display by Bonnie Rigg. Yes, uh, it was a superb team performance right from the, the first whistle. Um, I thought we, we controlled the game and thoroughly deserved the victory. There was a, a look about the team as they took the field tonight, uh, that they were really up for this one. Was that part of the plan to suffocate, I guess, Sutherland and uh, the way they like to play the ball out from the back? You wanted to suffocate that style? Uh, look, look we, we, we always set up to play the same way against Sutherland, and um, I, I think we even played that way when we played here and lost 4-0. But um, you know, uh, we, were, we were going to do that, do that tonight anyway. Time now for the elimination final between the Rockdale City Suns and Marconi Stallions. Both of these sides snuck into the finals on the last day by the skin of their teeth. Rockdale did it in style, getting past the Sutherland Sharks at home with an impressive 2 0 win. And Branko Kalina's men may be firing at the right time of the season, but if they don't fire against Marconi, it will be the end of their championship dreams. Last year's champions, meanwhile, left it late to secure their final spot with Shane Webb's 90-second minute winner against Bonnie Rigg getting them into fifth spot by a solitary point. They'll play for their lives again this week with the loser going home, but they will do it without influential captain Noel Arate, with injury ruling him out for the rest of the season, with the midfielder since announcing his retirement. Wins over Sutherland and Bonnie Rigg in the last month will give them belief, but there's no room for error in the elimination final. Let's go to the Sydney United Sports Centre now for all the action. Yama now for Rockdale. Got Cardoso with him. He'll look to find a cross. He whips it in now. Organ is there. Comes over though. Tineski does well to keep it in. Back in the danger area. Oh, Kronopoulos is off his line. Juraseski 
Great save, Chronopolis. Again on the follow-up. Oh, will somehow Marconi survive by the skid of their teeth? Urasevsky with the header. Chronopolis does well. And Gann on the follow-up, off the line. It's all happening. So, long throw. Webb now sends it wide. He'll get it back. He's Webb. He'll send it in. Oh, he's Barkas here. Oh, but Chayna forced to tap it over. Riyama sends it in. Oh, Cardoso. Great control. Oh, just wide. Well, you can't give a striker of his quality that much room to move in the box. And they nearly paid the ultimate price. So danger cleared. Cardoso goes down. Wants a free kick, but referee says play on. He's Reed now. Now Gann. He's got support. Tineski. He's going to pull the trigger. Oh, deflected. Out for a corner. So Brendan Gann to take. He whips it in. Oh, tie and wide to the far post. Oh, he's Kohler. It's 1-0. I thought he'd overcooked it. Gann. Kohler's Johnny on the spot. And he opens the scoring just before half time. And Chronopolis can't do much with that. As we look at it again, Gann. I thought he'd overcooked it, but in the end, it's worked out perfectly. Straight back to Kohler. He's unmarked in the six-yard box. You've got to defend better than that at set pieces. And Marconi have finally paid the price. Riyama. Been good this afternoon. Commentator's curse, though, because he overcooks that one. Touch was a little bit too heavy. It's going to get pulled back. And again, the man getting his shirt tugged. And Tedeschi's not happy, and you have to agree... Referee could have played advantage there. It's going to be Cardoso to take. Here is Cardoso. Oh, not too far away again. He had Canopolis scrambling. Look at it once more. It was curling, but always curling away. Moriyama. Gives Reed some work to do, but he does it. Sends it back to Marconi, and they return the favour. Bit of ping pong at the moment. Here's Munro in possession. Looking for someone to make a run. Here is Tineski now. Tineski! Oh, Nelly produced something special from a tight angle. So Chronopolis sends it high and long. Kohler can only send it in the direction of Barkas here. Time is running out for Marconi in search of an equaliser. Here's Purcell. Linking up nicely. McGing, nice touch. Lum's going to try it. Oh, Foster Purcell! There it is! 1-1! We have our equaliser and it's game on here at the Sydney United Sports Centre. Taj Purcell, well hasn't he found some important goals this season? Perhaps none more important than that. Great control, he makes no mistake. It's game on. Players are tiring, not long left, whipped in. Oh, here's a chance! Oh, off the line from Reed. How important could that be? Danger not over. Gann will clear. And that is full time. We will need more than the 90 minutes this afternoon. Extra time. And if scores are still level, we'll go to penalties. He's Lump. He goes long. Oh, lovely play there from Cardoso. Cardoso bearing down on goal. Oh, just couldn't provide a finish. Canopolis was scrambling. And it's a golden chance. And it's a golden chance gone begging. And doesn't he know it? Here's Gann. Rockto have looked to fresher here in extra time. Here is Tulevsky. Running at defenders. Cuts it back. Munro. Sperenza now. Sperenza goes past Travis. Pulls him down. He could be in trouble here, Travis. He's already on a yellow. He is in big trouble. That's his second. And there it is. Marconi are down to 10 men. And it's probably the worst time to do so. Players are tiring. Oh, Gann. He's got two to beat. He's looking for support. Here is Muriyama. Oh, good save, Chronopolis. Muriyama keeps it alive. Gann battling well. Corner from Marconi. Far post. By Chainers off his line. He punches. And that is the end of extra time. We still don't have a winner. So it's the dreaded penalty shootout. And you can cut the tension with a knife. Nerves fraying everywhere. So Taj Purcell going to take on the responsibility of the captain up against Barchena. We've seen him score many times from the spot kick this season. 
but it all counts for nothing and he can't do it here. Here is Purcell. Barchena. Oh, what a save from Barchena. It's a huge save. An advantage Rockdale. Look at the replay. Perfect height for the keeper. Barchena picks the right way. Great save. Here's Cardoso. Been the man for Rockdale this season. They need him to find the back of the net on this occasion. Moves in. He does so. Great penalty. 1-0. Advantage Rockdale. Panopoulos chooses the right way. Perfectly placed though from Cardoso. Here is Kojiro Hori now for Marconi. Already missed the first one. They need to ensure this one goes in. Moves in now. Oh, it's over the bar. It's a horror penalty. And Marconi have missed their first two. Went for power rather than placement. And just leant back a little bit too much. Well over the bar. Not a good penalty. Cool Cola. Plenty of experience. He's been here before. Can he make it 2-0? Moves in now. Oh, he can indeed, but just. Kronopoulos got a finger to it, but not enough. May have even come off the post as well. But they'll take it. And Rockdale now will take some stopping in the shootout. So it's going to be Webb. So here's Shane Webb now for Marconi. Moves in. Our clinical. That's what they needed. They're finally on the board. Look at it once more. Barchena can't do anything with that. That's a perfect penalty. Picked his spot. Here's Muriyama now for Rockdale. Muriyama! Oh, somehow it's gone in. It's just not Marconi's day, is it? Chronopolis makes the save off the post and it still finds the back of the net. Well, someday you just don't get the rub of the green. It's going to be topped again for Marconi. Oh, it does well. Nice penalty. That'll make it 3 2. Too good for Barchena, that one. And there remains some hope for Marconi. So Karamura can win it for Rockdale. He can indeed. Rockdale have won it. And they've ended the hopes of Marconi. It's a lovely taken penalty. Kronopoulos can't do the job. And the Rockdale fans go home happy. And Rockdale are delirious. They will live to fight another day. And they'll take on Sutherland next weekend. A side they beat just seven days ago. Well, one week of the finals down. If that's just a hint of what's to come, strap yourselves in. We're in for one hell of a ride. All right, Paul, so one all in the end. We ended up being decided by penalties. You, were you a little nervous running into the final 120 minutes there? Oh, I think you're always a little nervous, you know, running into um, penalty shootouts. You know, it's a very lucky um, outcome. But uh, I think, like, overall, we started slightly slow, but as the game progressed, I, I think we uh, started to dominate more and, you know, win those second balls and then start the play, and we sort of built momentum. We had a few chances in the second half, I guess so did they, but, you know, you could feel something coming. And, you know, we worked hard uh, in extra time, but we had a couple of chances that just, uh, you know, we couldn't convert. And uh, in the end, we'll take the penalties, you know. You, you make your own luck, so they say, and we're happy to move on. Good performance. Okay, so 120 minutes couldn't separate the sides at the end of the day. The boys had a lot of chances, but got there in the end. Were you proud of the effort they put in today? Oh yeah, look, I, oh, that's one thing that uh, we at Rockdale are pretty uh, comfortable and confident with is uh, the commitment uh, that we put in every game, and today was no different. We started off a little bit slow in the first 10-15 minutes, but after that, you know, we controlled the game, created lots of chances. It was a big pity that it went uh, on for so long. We, we had a bit of a setback with our captain not playing, so we, we made a couple of changes in 120 minutes of football, I think. You know, we've we done very well. We, we went down uh, down a man in extra time there, so, you know, I think to myself, it's, it's, it is a good job, but obviously at this point we lost, but I'm still proud of the boys, man. Looking at the fixtures now for week two of the finals in the IGA National Premier League, New South Wales men's one. It starts on Saturday night as Sutherland take on Rockdale at Seymour Shore. And on Sunday, it's a blockbuster clash where the winner will be the first team through to the grand final as Sydney United 58 take on Bonnie Rigg from the Sydney United Sports Centre. Well, that's what we have time for for this week's show. So make sure you tune in next time for two huge finals matches from the IGA National Premier League, New South Wales men's one. See you then. Football New South Wales would like to thank its sponsors, IGA and Super IGA, Subway, Coca-Cola, Elastoplast, Foxtel, Hummel and Nike, the official ball sponsor of the IGA New South Wales National Premier League's Men's One.